So you clicked on this video, right? And now you're wondering, why should I start journaling, you know? What's so good about journaling that I should go out, buy myself a notebook, and just start writing a lot? <laughs> just start, you know, writing a lot. Okay, why should I do that, okay? Why do, why do I wanna put myself through that? I'm not in school, why would I write? Well, <clears throat> I got you with the facts, babies. I got you with the facts. The more evident reason why you should start journaling is because you can check down your memories, okay? You can write down your memories, you can look back at them and relive them once again. So, this was my first journal. I got this when I was 11. I got this journal when I was 11 and the purpose of that was because my mom wanted me to practice my spanish so she was like write i had to write every single day write one entry in english and translate it to spanish so that's how i started and then eventually i stopped writing in spanish and would just fill up like five pages of me just writing about what happened in my day what i was feeling who i was crushing on all the <laughs> all the juice is in this this was from 6th grade to 7th grade and throughout those two years or two, those two school years I moved from Oregon to Georgia where I'm at now so there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot going on in this notebook and mm, let me just okay let me just give you an idea of what I mean when you can go back to a memory okay let's choose I can't look I have a sticker of Harry. <laughs> okay. February 21st, 2013. The books I've read since Fablehaven are The Princess Diaries, The Frog Princess, Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging, and now I'm reading Splendors and Glooms. What can I say? A sis was intelligent. Okay, she read, she read, oh, oh my goodness. She read a lot, a lot. And then I would rate them. I would give them five stars. Look at that, intelligent. Oh, March 9th, 2013. I found out a couple of weeks ago what, and then I said in Spanish, but platonic love means. It means someone you love, but you know he or she will never feel the same way about you. Just like me and Taylor Lautner. <laughs> what? Okay, so that's an example of you check down your memories and then you can go back to them <laughs> and relive them again. Like, that is exciting. I don't know about y'all, but that is exciting. Like, look, I have a letter in this one. I'll block down the address, but I have a letter in this one from one of my AP teachers. Dear Kate, congratulations on making a three on your AP test. It was a privilege, ple it was a privilege and pleasure being your teacher. Look, every memory, I forgot I even had this. Every memory is here. Wow. Look, here's a picture of me and Leslie. Sorry, Leslie, now you're on my channel. Oh, oh, a whole bunch of pictures just came out. I wrote down a quote at the beginning of this journal, okay? It's a quote by Sean Covey, and <clears throat> it breaks down why keeping a journal is very needed, you know? Let me just, let me just read it to y'all. Keeping a journal can do wonders for your soul. It can become your solace, your best friend, the only place where you can fully express yourself no matter how angry well, why did I just say it like that? No matter how angry, happy, scared, love crazed, insecure, and confused you feel, you can pour your heart out and it will just listen. It won't talk back. Writing down your unedited thoughts can clear your mind, boost your confidence, ladies and gentlemen, and help you find yourself. Now that, I mean, I think that's the best reason out of all why you should start journaling, really. 
also it helps you become a better writer not even gonna lie like you start reading through your journals and you see there is a growth in vocabulary okay there's less comma splices i don't know you just get better at it you know here we go it helps what did i say it helps you heal and resolve your pl why can't i speak today it helps you heal and resolve your problems okay whenever i'd get mad i used to get mad a lot okay so i would get mad and instead of me i don't know lashing out i would open my little notebook and i'd literally just i'd rage write you know rage writing blah blah blah, blah. whatever i needed to say i would say it to my paper rather than say it to the person because when you're in the moment and you're mad in the moment you can say things that can ruin a relationship can say things that can just put you in a bad place because you're angry you don't care what you're saying you're just spewing, spouting whatever out nonsense okay so it's better if you just write it down you get all those dark i don't know feelings out all those very angry feelings you calm yourself down and then you go to the person now that you're calm now that you've taken out all the bad salts you can talk to the person calmly you know okay so it helps okay and not only that but journals are like self-therapy okay maybe you don't want to see a person maybe you don't want to tell anybody else about what you're going through about your struggles about your life so you're telling yourself but in written form you get what i mean like are we are you compre pre comprehending why am i i can't i don't i don't know how i'm a college student i don't even know basic words but like you get you get what i'm saying right so you're telling yourself how you feel you're telling yourself what's going on and while you're writing there's a lot of things that you start discovering because you're just writing, you know, like, blah, 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 I feel like this, I feel like that, I feel like nobody loves me, but you know, you can just write whatever and then more things start coming and you start speaking from your heart and then you go over it and you read it and you're just like, like, I didn't know I felt like that, like, hold up, this is more serious than I thought or, you know, like, sometimes it's like, it's not that big of a deal than I thought it was. It just helps you become more self-aware you know it's also really good for self-growth self-care i know people are big on self-care if you're big on self-care sis a journal that is self-care you leave your i don't know your phone you put your phone to the side you know you go into your little room and you find a little corner a little space and you just start writing blowing out all those emotions it's good it's good what did I write? Okay. A journal is your own room 19. Okay? If it it is your room 19. Now you're probably wondering, Kate, what the heck is a room 19? Like what is that, sis? Okay. Room 19, it's there's this book called Going to Room 19 or To Room 19. I don't know. I heard about it from this Korean drama called because this is my first life, you guys should go watch it. If you're not into K-dramas, I don't care. You should go watch it. It's really good. It helps you think about a lot of things. I don't know. Okay. So basically what the book is about is this old lady. Well, she's not that old. How old is she? Like 40, 50? I don't know how old she is. Okay. This lady is like, she's content with her life. She has her husband. She has her two kids. You know, she's good and all. But she starts feeling like she needs her own space. You know, like it's just so like there's so much going on at home like she just needs somewhere to go that she can call her you know like her own so her her husband makes her a room and their house and he like tells his kids like this is just for mom this is mom's room she can come in and do whatever she wants to do whenever she wants okay don't come in but soon that room becomes just like another family room everyone's going inside and out of that room so she's just like okay this room is no longer mine so she rents a hotel room, room 19, and that becomes her own space. No one knows about her. Her husband doesn't know about her, about it, her kids. Like, no one knows about this room 19. It's just her own. She wouldn't, she didn't even do anything in that room. She would legit go into that room just so she could sit there and enjoy peace, enjoy the silence, 
not have to, you know, like, you know, I don't know, you know. She just felt like she needed a room for herself just to like enjoy peace and quiet and be alone with her thoughts. Her husband then finds out about it and he thinks that she's cheating on him, that she's having an affair. Now this is where people get confused because she wasn't having an affair. She was legit just in that room by herself doing nothing. But when her husband accuses her of having an affair, she says yes. She tells him that she has been cheating on him, that she has been having an affair. Now that's really like, I guess because it's controversial, it's very like weird because you're like, why would you lie and why would you, you know, like why would you say yes when you know for a fact that you never did anything? And that was because she rather him think that that room, that she used that room for something else rather than him know about her room 19. Like, rather than him know that that was her go-to safe place. Because if she had told people that that was the place where she went to, you know, be alone with her thoughts, you know, like that was her own secret room, then it wouldn't be a secret room anymore. It would no longer be a room 19 because people would know about it. You know, like, yeah, I don't know if I'm explaining this well enough. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Your journal is your room 19. It's where you're alone in your thoughts. So nobody should be reading it. Nobody should be going through it. I don't know if you got nosy people in your house. You might want to hide your little journal, but, um, you know, it's your own room 19. I hope I explained that. I don't know if I did. Also, oh, I already talked about that. My last point is it becomes a routine like it helps you build a routine for yourself I have not been keeping up with my routine <laughs> the last time I wrote an entry was in July 2nd it's July 12th yeah it was 10 days ago so like I'm not keeping up with it but I will I will starting today I will write every day but when I did first get my journal I would do an entry every single night or every morning like it depends but you build this routine of okay let me set up um let me set some time apart so that i can write in my journal okay it's 10 o'clock i'm gonna go to sleep but let me write in my journal first and then go to bed or like you know the next day's a busy day or you know what i'm waking up i'm gonna write in my journal what i hope today will be like and then at the end of the day you know like compare it like was my day like this what did it go better than you thought did it go worse than you thought i don't know it's just it's really nice to have a journal okay i have i have five six i don't know i have like five around there so yes this is why you should start journaling you can start today you can start tomorrow but the sooner the better honestly the sooner the better and if you guys do start journaling and if you guys like it let me down let me down <laughs> let me know down below you know comment like hey i really like this journaling thing you know and you don't always have to just write you can really just doodle you know you can do your entry could be a little drawing okay like it can be anything just like have a little you know you just have your room 19 you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.